Hi guys, part three. Wow. So we finished on ancient civilizations coming back up and the reason why it's taking time is because we need to be ready for it. So we're tapping back into the Lemurian past lives, the Atlantean past lives, the inner shaman, the inner wise man, the inner wise woman, because it, it basically Bran finished off by saying that if this had have happened 100 years, we wouldn't have been ready as a species. But many of us are getting more and more ready for this. So when these civilizations come up, we're ready for it. We're ready for it. Um, there is going to be more battles in the meantime between light and dark, but the battles are getting weaker. And we'll be transitioning through them much quicker. He says he wants me to pull some cards on aspects of his life. He's going to bring in help for people that have had similar situations so he wants me to pull some cards on his childhood this isn't about looking into his childhood this is about bringing things forward that can help others so childhood show me some cards for your childhood then please wow well, my third eye and my crown he actually didn't have me writing stuff down and if he'd have been giving me all this it'd have blown my mind to be honest because it feels like whoa The green man. The son of life. Tradition. Balance, yeah. Bloodlines having to heal. Balance, firing up of the Kundalini energy. Um, childhood, this is about your childhood. Healing the injustices of childhood. Stop be stopping being a victim of your childhood. He's saying there are so many people at the minute that are a victim of their childhood. And a lot of it is stuff and nonsense that's just holding them back. So this is about firing up your kundalini essence. It's about balancing our emotions. He said so many inner childs at the minute are out of kilter. They're really out of kilter. He's showing me a child that's really needed. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy. And it's this inner child. All of our inner childs are so off kilter at the minute. And there's something with the inner child that needs to be healed and brought back into balance. Um, maybe it's patriarchal as you've got the green man. Many, he's saying that he's been, this is about his own childhood. He, like others, experienced stuff within childhood. Everyone experiences stuff within childhood. The time, the darkness of the time. And he's talking about utilising that and making it something light. I mean, he's saying Dracula's not light. It's not light, is it? But it's brought comfort and, and healing to many people's this book. Um, not the movie versions that they that they debauch and make into something even darker. Not those, the book. To sit down with the book. Um, yeah, where it says as children were able to... Yeah, that's what he's... God, that's what he's on about. As children were able to see more as children than we can as adults. And as we get as turn into adults, we lose it. Which is where children and... and What's it called? Invisible friends come from. He had an invisible friend. He had an invisible friend. He said it's about turning your childhood from something that was dark. He's saying his childhood was quite dark. Um, some strong patriarchal energies within his family. Of his time. Again, don't just don't, don't judge it. It's Victorian. Of course, there's going to be some strong patriarchal energies going around. Um, a, yeah, it's what you do with your childhood going forward. You're either the victim or the survivor, and we do get to choose. And sometimes that triggers, but we do get to choose. And it's about using everything you can to bring magic forward. Again, this is this new earth energy that's coming in. Maybe it's coming in. Maybe this, what is this? This is new earth energy. I'm, Cards on your childhood and we're talking about new earth. The traumas of childhood will help to build in new earth. Also as well, the inner child within us all is going to be, is going to rise up to build new earth. This is about tapping into your inner child. 
And the reason why so many inner childs have gone off kilter is because of the adult human that's gone into victim. That's shutting off all its sources, shutting off its third eye, shutting everything off. When as a child, everything you can see, you can predict, you can manifest, you can, as a child. There's children that are coming that they're not here yet. They're not here. They're coming in the future and they're literally magical. Magical. The reason why there's an infertility thing on this planet at the minute as well is because, and this is what he's saying, there's too much noise at the planet at the minute. There's too many people on the planet and there's too much noise. And when these new souls are starting to come in, their frequencies are very different. And if they come into overpopulated planets, they actually can't function. Interesting. It's got this is interesting stuff. New people coming in, new energies coming in, new children coming in, new frequencies coming in. Mother Earth firing up as Mother Earth fires up Mother Earth, the Great Mother. She's firing up, bringing up the inner child. It's all connected. It's all connected. They say there's some stuff in Ireland that's quite dark that's coming up as well. There's places in Ireland. I'm not sure about that, but there's stuff in Ireland that's coming up. He's saying Ireland will become independent. He's saying we're going to... He said there's all... Watch your words. There's this big thing about everything coming together and being one world. Yeah? He says it's not. He said on the contrary, what's going to happen is... Places are going to start firing off in their own individual places. And it like Scotland will rule Scotland. Wales will rule Wales. Wales. England will rule England. Ireland will Ireland. And it's going to be the same all over the place. They're going to fragment off. This is stuff that's going to... This isn't just going to happen. This isn't an energy update for next month. This is going to take years. But this is why all the towers are crumbling. Because they're all going to start fragmenting off. And each country is going to take on its own rule. So there's independence coming for everywhere. Independence coming for everywhere. He said new rulers are going to be coming in, but they're not coming in to the present ruling families. These are going to be new rulers, not rulers, not rulers, this is the wrong word. He's saying it's leaders, leaders. Because he says you can't you can't have countries that are, are places or communities that there's no central there's no central place in there. It's even a word that I, I can't even use the word because I don't even know what this word is. They're not rulers. They're not like the old Viking rulers. These are diff these are wise these are wise rulers that are coming in. Not rulers, leaders, wise. And they're not coming in to what we've got now. Right? So this is why it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. They are not coming into Parliament. There's some good people there, but they're not coming into the ruling royal family. They're not coming into those. They're refusing point black. This is a new bloodline that's coming in of light. This is stuff that's coming in the future. What's going to happen is it all crumbles down and it's safe. There's no fear. And then it starts to fire up. It's all with these new places that are coming up. Mind blown. Mind blown. Mind blown. Mind blown. Show me these new rulers then. Not rulers, stop saying it. Stop saying it. I'm not shouting at Bram, don't myself. Why am I saying rulers? Because that's what we're used to and rule. They're not going to be rulers. They're going to be showers. They're actually heart centered beings that have lived actually quite dark incarnations that are coming forward to actually help humanity find its way. New Earth, New Earth, show me New Earth, the Wanderer, yeah, the boundaries are down, the borders are down. Oh yeah, look at that bridge as well, like, like um, a rainbow bridge. This isn't rainbow bridge to heaven, this is rainbow bridge to the New Earth. This is rainbow bridge to the new, new energies. The Wren, Page of Arrows, Simplicity. Mother Earth will fire back. She's already firing back up. Her animals are going to be okay. It's going to be okay. There's not going to be as many. Because it's like us with the humans. There's going to have to be less of everything. In order to bring back everything. But it's going to be so much simpler. 
you'll be able to drink from the rivers you'll be able to go out and eat in the forest and not worry about getting poisoned you'll be able to let your children run roam for miles and know that they're going to be safe this frequency of our voices are going to be changing he says this is why there's so much thing with the physical body at the minute because the physical the old this is the this is the old physical body that is going to be going and it's going to start transitioning into something different um obesity is going disability is going illness is going debauchery is going and the you might say well no it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger that's because it's going it's having its last hurrah and the lights shining on it this is the hooded man yeah these are even new homes you know i'm even like i'm seeing the line the witch and the wardrobe now just simplicity woodlands and this is a really beautiful place i can't even put it into words The stag. The death of the old. The refiring up of Mother Earth. Only people with pure hearts are going to be able to incarnate onto this planet, this new Earth. Which is why we're going through such a thing at the minute with shadow and dark night of the soul and because we're having to purge it because we cannot take ourselves into new earth as we are now. He's actually saying right now as we stand as a species, very few people could actually be in new earth because of the frequency. He said some people with ego think they're already there, they're already living it. He says actually we're not because we've got to purge out all this density globally, internally, collectively, community wise. Which is why the physical body's doing all kinds of stuff. We're tired, we're lethargic, we're coughing, we're spluttering, we're aching, we're everything's just flaring up because we've got to get it up. And this is why the clock's going, time is going quicker because we need to get there. So it's like, come on, come on, come on. This is weird energy. This is not weird energy, it's weird energy. This is, this is. Where is Earth right now? Where is Earth right now? Where is Earth right now? Right now, where is Earth right now? Show me humanity right now, humanity right now, humanity right now, humanity right now. Solar light upgrade, yeah. Solar plexus chakra, inner fire willpower. Guess what spray I've got on me, altar here, the chakra spray. This this card haunted me this week, this card. Everywhere I go. Emerald tablet activation, cosmic ordering, divine alchemy, conscious manifesting. So right now, as a species, we are here, solar light upgrade. Solar plexus, chakra, inner fire, willpower. So this is about huge, huge upgrades that we're receiving all the time at the minute. Um, the dark is becoming darker. And this isn't about the... Oh, how am I explain this? Because I've got to trigger people that. When I first started YouTube, I did a video where... I think it was a May update for 2020. And I think I said something along the lines of... Think of the areas in our world that are dark, the dark group of friends, the dark workplace, the dark TV programme, the dark family, the dark society, whatever. More and more people are starting to wake up, so they're stepping out of these dark areas of our world. So what's, what happens is, see if you've got a room and you've got a room and you've got lots of lights and lots of fairy lights. And each one of those fairy lights leaves, it goes somewhere, it goes next door, this room becomes darker. And then... The healings, then the clearing of that dark. Then spirit goes in and it clears it. Am I explaining this? No. I know what I'm, know what I'm trying to say. I know what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, flipping heck. I'm going to crown at the minute. That's why the dark at the minute is really loud. Because it's getting darker. It's not getting stronger. Because actually, this is when you're doing magic, you can't do magic with dark. It's only light that you can do magic with. This is...
body wisdom body wisdom yeah the light body upgrades the physical body Victoria silence having to go silent just hush shh shh immaculate imperfection upgrades change coming planets changing planets shifting new planets being formed Dream speaking, stuff happening within our dreams. I dreamt of Dracula. Honestly, all night last night I dreamt of Dracula and Bram Stoker. And not running from ourselves, not running from ourselves, not running from the dark. If you think about this book again, if you think about the characters that actually ran to the dark, not to, not to so like people are doing, but they actually faced the dark. They didn't poke it, they didn't goad it, they went in and faced it and healed it and take this back into our own life. They faced their own darkness. Say the Dracula is, a, is an analogy of our own darkness. They faced it together. They faced it step by step by step. And they succeeded. So whatever darkness is within us, we can face it, we can heal it, we can release it, we can transmute it we can build a bridge back over it for the blood for the blood is the life so we've been drawn to the first page let's see the first page To believe that is a good image what i said to tell you my thesis is to believe to believe to believe to believe we can't see it on camera but the words i'm seeing is to believe um yeah it's about some people wanting to face the darkness which is dracula and others we're, not, we're scared we can't do that you've got to believe if you're out there spreading more doom and glooms even if you think you're a truth seeker and you think you're doing a really good job you're actually just making them stronger and stronger which is why i have no time for it in my comment section so when somebody comes forward and spreads a, a, a global fake truth which that's what it is <laughs> i delete them because i have no time for it because all you're doing is spreading more fear and if you think about the characters in that book the humbleness and the and that's why they survived they could have all been killed by Dracula, but the reason why they survived were because they had good hearts. Yes, the dark came in. Yes, his fiance Jonathan Ark had that experience with the vampire, but she survived and came through it because she was of the light. And they all helped each other through it. They all picked each other up at different times. And the reason why they survived that and others didn't was because they were of the light. And I think that's what also that book is trying to tell us. That if you keep a good, clean heart and you want the best for yourself and for humanity, then you get to survive, you get to go on and you get your day in Nirvana, you get your day in New Earth. Hmm. Is this part three or part two? I can't remember. Let's wrap it up. So, thank you for watching. Thank you to Bram Stoker for stepping forward. It's been absolutely fascinating. Um, I hope that's helped. I hope that's helped to ease some anxiety. I hope it's helped to understand energy vampire energy and all that comes with it. Um, if you've not watched the Jimmy videos, I actually recommend you do because they're really good. Um... Actually, what, what what else fascinated me was both Jimmy and Bram actually had illnesses in childhood that left them kind of disabled for a period of time. There's some similarities. There's connections. And as he says, there's all kinds of connections between us all. We're all here for the bigger picture. We're all here for the bigger story. It's just we as humans dumb ourselves down and go into blame and shame when there's a much bigger picture at play here. And thank you for watching. Um... Thank you for taking part in it because you will have been taking part in it as well wherever you are. Whoever you are, whatever you are, stand tall, stand proud, but be humble. There's a very difference between standing tall, standing proud and being humble. Um, 
and don't judge people that were from a different time because actually we're labeling them with the present labels and you can't label the past with the present label yes you can talk about it and learn from it but you can't throw stuff at it um thanks for watching <laughs> hopefully <laughs> thanks thanks for watching please do like comment and subscribe and i will see you next week bye